Hi everybody. So I am here with a new DA50, and uh, I know there has been some controversy about the buffer of this camera, and I just went ahead and did some testing of my own, and I found something very interesting. I don't know if any of you have seen this, but let's see. I have my camera. Uh, sorry, I have the camera at 160 of a second. You can see I have the XQD a RAW, large, 14 bit, looseless compress, and I have a backup, the SD card UHS 2, this is the extreme program, 300 megabytes per second. So let's try the buffer. So as you can see, I have nothing on the camera right now, and let's go ahead. So we hit some buffer over there, right? So let's see. So with the loosest compress, probably hit the buffer around 69. Uh, images you can see is a raw L full resolution and we have the SD card and the XQD card however if I just go up on the speed and let's say something like 500 of a second for the images let's see how it goes uh, first, let's format the both cards. So I don't have any problem counting. Okay, we formatted both. Should be no images. Okay, let's try again. And there we hit the buffer plus one. So let's see. So we only got around 37 frames per second. Uh, I'm sorry, we fill up the buffer at 37 pictures. So it's something very interesting. So my idea is that, of course, when we're taking uh, pictures at 500 of a second, 1000 of a second, the sensor has much less time to pass that information uh, to the CPU or the processing inside the camera then when it's taking 160 of a second images so we can see the buffer changes with the uh, shutter speed I have tried different apertures that doesn't change the buffer I've tried different ISOs that doesn't change the buffer I tried different lenses that hasn't that doesn't change the buffer so something that I found and I will I wanted to share with you. So if you have any comments or opinions about that, let me know in the comments. Something that was very interesting, especially important for me is that, uh, for example, the buffer is something very important for you where you are taking action shots, sports, wildlife, things that are moving really fast and you want to capture that specific, that precise moment, that perfect moment. And usually when you are trying to do that, you go higher on this on this in the shutter speed, right? So you go beyond 500. Probably if you're doing birds on the on the wing, you're trying to go above 1,000, and you get this uh, limitation from the buffer and probably the reading from the sensor. And I think it's important to know, right, to take in considerations depending on the on the images that you are taking. If, for example, I don't know, you're doing weddings, you want a slower shutter speed, 60, 80 of a second, probably you're going to feel it too much, but definitely people that's going to be doing wildlife action sports, definitely they are going to notice this. So if you have any comments, if you have seen the same thing, let me know, and thank you for watching.